Golden eagles are some of the largest raptors in the world. They have a whole arctic distribution, which means they're found all over the northern hemisphere in Europe and Asia and North America. They have one of the largest distributions of any bird in the world. I'm Todd Katzner. I work for the USGS Forest and Rangeland Ecosystem Science Center and uh, I'm a research wildlife biologist. We're studying golden eagles and uh, the problem that we're trying to solve is that golden eagles can be killed by wind turbines. We're getting some good video of it. Yeah, yeah, good. So what we're doing is we're trying to use uh, innovative cutting edge technologies, tracking technologies to understand how eagles fly. And if we can understand how eagles fly, then we can predict when they're likely to fly in places where there's going to be wind turbines and when they're likely not to. So what we're doing is we're using an accelerometer, which is a tiny device which me measures change in, in velocity uh, in three different axes. It takes 200 measurements per second, so we get a really detailed understanding of the eagle's change in direction and speed. We have a, a falconer who flies a golden eagle, our colleague Tony, and Tony has been flying this trained golden eagle, and we're collecting these accelerometry data on this trained bird, and that's going to allow us to build a, a reference data set to understand the measurements from a, from a wild bird. Yeah, that got a broke to the left there. Tony's bird is special because we can film it all the time, so we have a record of exactly what it was doing, and we can then look at the accelerometer and see what measurements we're getting at from it when that bird is flying. And so it's really important to have a trained eagle that stays put, stays around, so we can get that film of it. We interpret that accelerometer data, and then we're going to put accelerometers on wild eagles, and we're going to collect the data, and then we're going to have the formulas to convert it into behaviors. So we're going to figure out when these eagles are doing flapping flight, when they're soaring, when they're high or away from the ground, when they're really close to the ground. And when we do that, we can begin to understand the risk they face from wind energy.